Uh, thank you for tuning in to uh, CTSB here on our public channel. And uh, joining me today is Eugene Mamet. And Eugene is a, uh, a longtime CTSB member. And uh, Eugene uh, grew up and has spent a considerable amount of time in Ukraine uh, before moving to the United States and becoming a cinematographer and, and an Academy Award-winning special effects artist. Um, and uh, I spoke with Eugene probably about eight months ago. Um, uh, uh, we, we spoke in the studio with um, uh, myself and, and uh, your wife, um, Irina, and we talked about uh, in the beginning days of the, the war between Russia and Ukraine. We, we discussed um, how scary things were as people were fleeing, as you had family members who were fleeing and and um, making contact with you. And uh, so eight months have gone by and um, you wanted to reach out to our viewers and explain how uh, the need for the United States to, to provide heavy weapons to Ukraine is more important now than ever. Um, as everyone sees, Ukraine is um, uh, gaining momentum and, and winning this war, but it, it all relies on help from the, the United States. So um, Eugene, I'm gonna hand it over to you. And um, uh, at, at the end, you uh, discuss a, uh, a petition that people can sign, um, which will um, demand or not demand, but you know, ask um, that, that heavy weapons be sent to Ukraine. And there's also <laughs> some supporting videos and documents that show that uh, we have heavy weapons and they're just, they're sitting here. They're not being loaned or used through lend lease. Um, so, uh, Eugene, uh, uh, why don't you uh, take it from here and um, uh, explain the situation as it stands right now. My name is Eugene Marmot. I am not a politician, not a journalist, and not even a blogger. I am a retired visual effects specialist. I have been in U.S. citizen for more than 40 years. I immigrated from Ukraine in 1978 but maintain close ties with all my family and friends from my hometown of Kharkiv in Ukraine. A few years ago, few Americans knew where Ukraine was. So far, for sake of uh, uh, brevity, I said that I was from USSR, not from Russia. But after Putin's aggression, his threats to Ukraine in all mankind with nuclear button, today everyone knows where Ukraine is. Currently, Ukraine is the cause of the life of its soldiers, women, children, and elderly. It's protecting all of humanity from homicide man, Putin, who is reaching for nuclear button. In Putin's declaration of war, he made it clear that this war is not only about Ukraine, but that this war is for first step to ending Western aggression and stopping NATO and USA. Putin explicitly stated that this is war against the West, against America. The whole world must understand this and provide Ukraine with all necessary weapons today because tomorrow may be too late. Since the beginning of the war, U.S. aid to Ukraine packages have totaling about $60 billion, of which only $18 billion is for weapons. So far, it's about $2 billion per month. The rest is spent on other needs. Out of uh, $18 billion, 11 billion has already been delivered and 7 billion will be ordered and weapons will be ready in a year or two. Russia spent $15 billion on weapons a month, but Ukraine can spend only 4 billion plus the help from other countries, another 2 billion, for a total of 6 billion. To catch up with Russia, and launch an offensive, Ukraine needs at least 10 billion more in weapons per month. President Zelensky cannot demand, but 
she can only ask and send America for help. But the American people have voted for the land lease law and can demand its implementation. Cash packages are good, but we can lend weapons through the land lease much quickly without additional votes and delays. All Democrats and Republicans voted for and President Biden signed the Land Lease Act on May 9, 2022. The law is uh, issued by legislative and must be ex executed by the executive branch, the White House. But as of today, it was not being fulfilled. But Land Lease does not need any budget body. This law gave the president the right to land Ukraine from the weapons reserve as much as necessary for fighting the war Russia is waging against the West. For example, according to sites Protect Ukraine Now, uh, which based on open sources information, you, the USA has about 1,400 guided MLRS. This is uh, including old and new version on HIMARS. If America lends just 10% of this to Ukraine, then the war will be end tomorrow with Ukraine's victory, and the whole world will be saved. But unfortunately, today, the United States has not delivered any heavy weapons to Ukraine. War planes, zero. Self-propelled artillery, zero. Air defense system, zero. Tanks, zero. Infantry fighting vehicles, zero. A lot of things what uh, America uh, delivered now, but this is uh, mainly is uh, shell, not heavy weapons educational and other needs. Ukraine is ready to defend the world from the Putin threat with its soldiers, but it urgently needs heavy weapons. Ukraine, in good faith, gave up its nuclear arsenal based on promises from the US in, in, in the 1994. Now it's time for US to make good on those promises. Today, the successful offensive against Russian forces almost stopped because of the shortage of weapons. Putin took advantage of the shutdown to gain a foothold. He is now putting millions of tons of concrete and cement into the fortification, mobilizing hundreds of thousands more soldiers to take over Ukraine. And if this happens, he will make good of his promise to fight against the rest of the West. We must prevent this. We are obligated to give Ukraine heavy we we weapons today before Putin replenishes his arsenal with drones, soldiers, and missiles. Yesterday, I signed a petition for the start of arms supply through land lease to Ukraine from the United States. I believe that according to the land lease law, heavy weapons should be loaned to Ukraine in the required quantities. Please sign this petition urgently. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. And um, the links to those um, websites and the petition and, and the additional information um, are all at the bottom of your screen. And um, it's hard to believe that it's been uh, eight, eight or nine months now since the war started. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot relies on um, uh, help from the U.S. So please check out these links and, um, uh, you know, learn some more um, facts about the situation and, uh, and see if you can offer uh, any support. Um, is there anything else you want to add, Eugene? Yes, I have an update. On November 10, White House announced package number 25 to help Ukraine save the civilization. Ukraine, very appreciative 
for many important ammunition in this package, but for military offensive before Putin mobilized more troops, Ukraine need planes, tanks, and other heavy weapons. Only land lease can supply that Im immediately without any budgeting, votes, ordering. Let's start land lease today. Tomorrow can be too late. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. And, um, you know, as the next few months go by, maybe we can have some more discussions about Ukraine and um, uh, and discuss where, where things are headed. Um, you know, uh, today we're speaking, this is this is early November, so I, I feel like we should at least date this because so much changes by the day. Um, so hopefully we can talk again in December or January. So thank you for joining me, Eugene, and uh, take care. Thank you.